For some time, we have been very excited about laser resurfacing. Traditionally, we have used the CO2 laser, which gave excellent results. Uh, we are very excited to have the erbium laser. The benefit of the erbium laser over the CO2 is it has shorter recovery, less redness, and we feel that it still gives us excellent wrinkle reduction in hard to treat areas, such as around the mouth and around the eyes. It does excellent uh, treatment of crepey skin around the cheek area. Um, and so we feel we can treat a broad variety of needs uh, with shorter recovery time, less redness. And so we are often combining that with our facelift procedures, especially for a rejuvenation around the mouth and eyes. In many cases, in my own practice, um, we can get some eyelid skin tightening without even the need for an external incision. Uh, so with the fat transferring we are doing to, uh, to fix the tear trough that many of us have as we age, uh, we can add the fatty tissue, remove the fatty tissue that produced from the inside of the, eye, of the lower eyelid. We can actually tighten up the eyelid skin and there is no incision to show for it. So uh, uh, as the laser techniques improve, we feel that our ability to offer things without scars also improves. Often uh, we'll have a patient ask, can I have the resurfacing and uh, some filler, either my own fatty tissue or filler instead of the facelift? And for many individuals, that is a possibility. Uh, the one thing that even the best laser resurfacing will not fix is loose skin of the neck or a deep nasolabial fold or jowls, and so for that reason, many of our patients are actually combining the laser resurfacing with traditional facelift surgery, and that's probably most common in our practice.